Hello everyone, welcome to a weekly update video for Monday the 12th of June. So let's start with Microsoft 2024. This was some really big news that got um, released yesterday. There's a bit of a bombshell um, that Microsoft will be developing a new simulator that will be released in 2024. We don't know when in 2024. Um, that will be essentially FS 2024. Now, this really raises a lot more questions than it does answers, but we've had some answers from the trailer and in the past sort of 12 hours since the news was released. So this is not an expansion package. It is a whole new simulator. But apparently from the trailer, from what people are saying, a lot of the sort of interface and visuals look similar. So it's probably going to be based off of... Um, the current simulator. It's not going to be completely new, but it is going to be a new simulator, so it will have to be um, repurchased. The tagline on the trailer um, says the same skies, which would also hint that there's a lot of similarities. Um, there's also been some confirmation that all add-ons on the marketplace will work with the new simulator. Now, that doesn't answer questions about the uh, other external add-ons that aren't on the marketplace. Um, but it, it, it indicates that, you know, things will probably work with less of um, a jump necessary than uh, was, was needed with, with the jump from P3D to Microsoft, which saw some add-ons require several years. Um, that doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. The trailer showcases some new footage, uh, some new clouds, some new kind of footage of natural disasters and some new possibilities with career progress, along with a new A330 Beluga plane that will be included with this simulator. Um, what it means for accessibility, we don't know, but uh, one might expect that uh, the narration will be included. Um, I mean, we hope that they continue to do uh, work on, on this uh, accessibility and narration. As I've said, really, the options dialogue is kind of the main um, section that needs work. Um, but uh, there are other areas as well. Um, and, you know, there's a lot more that certainly could be done, but uh, we will have to uh, wait and see. So that's the main news. Uh, we don't know a hell of a lot yet, uh, but uh, hopefully more news will be released in the coming weeks uh, in terms of picking a few other things up. Um, First Officer has had a few little updates, nothing big, although he does say he's working on version 5, so it'll be interesting to see what that entails. Uh, a note as well with the PMDG uh, FT Sim sound packs, he's also released 108, that was a few weeks ago, but uh, he has, uh, alongside the regular version, released a, quote, louder engines version. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, feel free to go download it. I have been reliably informed that it's very good. Um, the next thing to talk about is something we don't normally talk about, and that is Eurofly. Um, yeah, where to begin with, with this? Um, the Eurofly uh, mailing list went uh, kind of mad over the weekend because uh, someone decided to post um, a translation of some news that had been posted on the Slovak mailing list. Um, essentially talking about Eurofly 3. It was nothing new. It was kind of what we already knew what to expect in Eurofly 3. So potentially new airport um, maps with realistic runways and... Um, realistic terrain data around those airports, uh, realistic flight dynamics to an extent for some of these planes with, you know, adjusted um, data on, 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 on wingspan and wing coefficients and all this kind of stuff. Um, I know that for a fact because I worked on that myself for Stefan a year ago or maybe more. Um, look, I mean, people were getting very excited. I think we just got to, you know, be, be careful um, with that, things have been promised before, um, and, uh, you know, Stefan, I believe, has, has the, you know, intention to, to do great things with it, uh, and, and tries best, uh, but obviously, uh, is only a one-man team, so things have been promised and deadlines aren't always, uh, met, um, so I think, you know, everyone suddenly jumping on a bit, oh, this is amazing, you know, yeah, just calm down, but in terms of kind of, um, the potential for this um everyone and their dog has features that they want to see in eurofly and 
I know Eurofly has a special place for some people um, because either it was their introduction to flight um, or it is still their primary game of choice. Um, you know, some people don't know about the world of simulation that we're in with Microsoft and P3D and, and, and some people, you know, might feel overwhelmed or not have the financial uh, or, or, or sort of PC means to, to go into this uh, at the moment. And that's perfectly fine. So playing your is fine. I think, you know, you just got to let Stefan do his, do his job. You know, I've been asked, you know, am I going to feature Eurofly 3? You know, yeah, I don't see why not. We'll give it a go. Um, so it is supposedly coming out this summer. There is supposedly going to be a demo in Slovak released in June. Oh, sorry, not June, uh, July. We're in June now. So released in July. Um, and, uh, you know, then uh, there's going to be um, some translations that need to be done and things like that. And then hopefully over the summer, we'll end up with an actual Eurofly 3 version that gets translated into um, English. Um, but yeah, I think um, we just got to let things take their course. If it comes out, then great. If not, then, then whatever. I, I get rather irritated when people continuously complain that Eurofly is not realistic. Um <sighs> You know, ultimately, yeah, so what? Um, if it's not what you want to play, then go try P3D and, and Microsoft. That's really where it's at. But Eurofly has a place in the market, you know. Um, and I hope, what I really hope, and I've said this before, is that Eurofly 3 becomes more realistic. Not, It's never going to be a Microsoft or a P3D, but hopefully it becomes a little bit more realistic so that people can use it as an introduction to, to simulation and aviation um because eurofly 2 right now it can whet your appetite for more but it doesn't really give you much knowledge about aviation realistically um which is fine um you know it's um it's it's a game that's what it is um but yeah hopefully eurofly 3 will really help people gain some knowledge and, and have a cool experience and then you know if if they want to come into microsoft or p3d they'll have that knowledge um already there um from an existing um simulator i think that would be that would be good but that's really my my opinion on it is, is uh we're just gonna have to wait and see and um, i'm not getting overly excited for it i'm not um you know all that interested but i do believe that stefan has has good intentions and um obviously what he's able to achieve as an individual and with his his his, his um you know time constraints and whatever is um is is, is somewhat limited but um yeah, we'll have to see where it goes, and we'll keep an eye on on Eurofly. I'm not a big fan of kind of the the snobbery as well of people being like, oh, we we fly real planes or we fly simulators, and and Eurofly is a joke. I mean, you know, it occupies a certain place in the market, and ultimately, people who who use it do have an interest in aviation, and um, we need to make our community who use other simulators welcoming. Um, as well because I, I know a lot of people who have come in from Eurofly and have done really well so there's no point being snobbish about it and saying um, you know, oh why are you even discussing Eurofly well because it's it's a pathway that a lot of people do take Eurofly to all the simulators um, so I think it's worth it um, other than that there's not been too much to discuss Cross the Ditch was a success um, very nice event always fun and um, there is uh, the event on the weekend, uh, if anyone is interested, the Faro uh, Summer Flying, which is in Portugal. as my little event pick of the week for you. Uh, other than that, I shall see you in the next video and thanks for watching.